Unfortunately, I have to turn away around one in two first time buyers that come to me having already secured an offer on a property who haven't checked out their mortgage status first. This is because their case just doesn't fit. Personally, I much prefer helping a first time buyer go through the process from the very start before searching properties has even been considered. That's because we have time to check credit scores, documents, affordability, and then provide a budget and mortgage lender to provide the very best chance of mortgage success. By looking for properties as a first step, you leave yourself completely exposed to disappointment as there are many hurdles that have not been looked at, which make the difference between mortgage failure and mortgage success. Not only that, the process suddenly becomes rushed as you now urgently need a mortgage and start frantically trying to sort out a mortgage. This creates an unnecessary anxiety to the whole process. In this video, I discuss the first three things every first time buyer should be doing before property searches is even a thought. My advice is to stop scrolling through right move every night and focus on these three areas. Let's go. Hi, my name's Alex, I'm a qualified mortgage broker and my passion is simplifying the mortgage process for first time buyers, as well as providing the best tools and tips. Please say hello on social media, at Alex Kerr Mortgage on Instagram, Facebook and TikTok. Let's get into the vid. One, multi-agency credit report. I say it all the time, this is where you need to start first as this is the most common area in where something has been overlooked. It could be a missed payment you're unaware of, an incorrect dress not showing on the voters roll when it should, a credit commitment showing on Experian but not Equifax. Gone are the days where you can just check one credit agency and be good to go. Times have moved on. Mortgage lenders will search Experian, Equifax and TransUnion when they carry out a credit score for your agreement in principle. Some lenders will use Experian, others Equifax, and some a combination. A multi-agency credit report will provide one file with all three reports. You may have an Experian credit report which looks perfect and then get declined for a mortgage from a lender which, unbeknown to you, uses Equifax to carry out their credit scores. Your Equifax report has some type of incorrect data which is causing your mortgage to decline that you are unaware of. If you've already offered on a property and you have this type of problem come up, it's game over. You will highly likely lose the property as it takes time to correct errors on your credit file, sometimes up to 12 weeks, and then there's a crossover lag for the lender to update from the credit agency, which could mean even more time. We recommend Check My File. It's a really easy solution to this problem. You can download your free report and cancel at any time within 30 days. If you have no idea how to read your credit file or correct any errors, we provide a fast track service where we will look at your credit file, provide a detailed analysis with information that will advise any areas that need updating or correcting to give you the best chance of mortgage success. There is no obligation to use us for the mortgage. This is £49. I will leave the link in the description below. If, however, you have adverse credit, we now offer a fast track credit improvement program. For just £99, we will help untangle any adverse credit situations with advice and guidance on what to do with your current situation and a plan to put in place which will guide you to a position where you will have mortgage options. This includes a future follow-up call to check and analyse your progress. The booking link is in the description below. Two, documentation. Another huge area where mortgage applications do not succeed. If your driving license is out of date and your passport is in the post, please do not start looking for properties and placing offers if you do not have either of these documents to hand that are in date with the correct data on them, like your name, your current address. You're going to find it very hard to obtain a successful mortgage if you do not have a passport or driving license. It's quite rare to have other documents other than your passport or driving license that will be accepted by lenders. Make sure you have at least one of these documents for your ID. Proving your address is not so bad. If you do not have a utility bill, maybe you live at home, you can use a bank statement. However, it is vital that your bank statement has the correct current address. If that's not the case, update it before you start searching for properties. You don't want any delays. You will of course need other documents such as pay slips, P60s, tax documents if you're self-employed. They should be a lot easier to obtain from your employer or the inland revenue. Just make sure your name and address are correct on these documents and match all of your other documents as incorrect names and addresses will not be accepted. Three, affordability. 
This is a huge area where mortgages fall down if you have not addressed this from the outset. Most lenders will lend around four and a half times your income, but this is before any deductions have taken place. You may have taken into account loans and credit card minimum payments and other credit commitments, but did you know that pension contributions, childcare, maintenance payments, pay slip deductions and student loans can all reduce the amount you can borrow. My advice is to use a mortgage lender's affordability calculator as a minimum, but ideally have a professional mortgage advisor to do this for you as they will understand how to complete this correctly without missing any vital data, which could change the loan amount available to you, which would only be apparent in a mortgage application once the mortgage underwriter does the affordability calculation correctly. Today's question, I'd love to know if you've used any of these three areas to your situation in preparation for a mortgage. Let me know. Mortgage warning. Please note, we do need to let you know that your home may be repossessed if you do not keep up with repayments on your mortgage. So thanks for watching today's video. I hope it has provided you with some useful tips that will provide you with value. Please check out show notes for a recap on today's video with access to any links discussed today. Please do consider subscribing and ringing the bell to receive further notifications when we release our videos. I've been Alex Kerr providing the best tools and tips to first time buyers. I'll see you in the next one.